and welcome back to Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Vortex Diamondback Tactical. Now this is a 6 to 24 by 50. This is an MOA. Now this optic is very popular. It came out just about a year and a bit ago. And now it's very popular for a very good reason. It's a very affordable, uh, high quality first focal plane optic, which is what the, the market has been demanding for years. Now this one, the MSRP is about 500, but you can find it as low as about 350 US if you know it's really on sale. Usually it's around 400. This optic has ED glass, which is probably one of the uh, best features on it. Um, so ED glass, a glass etched reticle uh, with the EBR2C reticle. Uh, it's got a very long eye relief. I mean, this has 3.9 inches of eye relief, which we're going to get to in just a moment. So without further ado, let's start off this review. Uh, let's start with the glass, which is probably the second most important thing on any optic. So for the glass quality, as I said earlier, it has ED glass, which is extra low dispersion. So I mean, for glass quality, have a look for yourselves. And this is six magnification. And this is 24 magnification. Now, as you can see, the glass is really clear and really sharp. This is six magnification. Now this optic can really deliver some really sharp, some really crisp images. Um, we're definitely going to give it a 5 out of 5. Next we have the eye relief. Now this in some ways kind of took away from the glass quality for the reason that you have to be perfectly centered, perfectly at the right distance in order to get that sharp and crisp image. Which is something, I mean, I felt it could improve on. But it's maybe likely the reason why this optic is so affordable. Or part of the reason maybe. Other than that, you have a very long eye relief, which is great for uh, heavier recoiling rifles. Um, the eye box isn't very forgiving. You have to be dead center behind it in order to have that perfect, crisp, and sharp image. So, um, the, other than that, the fast focus eyepiece is super smooth. It's, there's no slop in this. For that reason, we're going to give the eye relief a 4 out of 5. Now for the focus parallax. So the numbers do match the distance indicated. There is zero slop. It's, it functions exactly as it should be, so 5 out of 5. Next, we have the accuracy. So let's head out to the range. Let's start shooting. All right, so we're at the range. We got her all zeroed. Let's see how good she does in the 223. Then we'll move it on to the 308. Now as a first observation, I really got to say I'm in love with this reticle. I really love how the, the crosshairs do not touch. They leave a very, very tiny gap right in the middle. So you're not overlaying your crosshairs onto your target, but you're actually resting your target right between the crosshairs. And it's similar to a peep type kind of ideology, but I find it's really nice. Doing pretty damn good. Ah, I opened that group up quite a bit with that last shot. Well, hopefully the next group will be a little bit better. Oh wow, I really pulled that last shot. <laughs> I 
Anyway, one thing I do have to notice is the eye box is not very forgiving on this optic. I mean, you got a really long eye relief, but that eye box is really, you really got to get yourself perfectly centered in order to have a really nice, clear and uh, crisp image. And it has it, but if you're slightly off, then you start to notice a little bit, the, it goes a little bit darker on you. Anyway, um, that's our accuracy. Other than that last shot, you know, we were doing really good. <laughs> And we're back. So, I mean, those groups are pretty good with the exception of that one. I just kept pulling to the right. I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. You know, every once in a while, I just, I, that, that's what it ended up being. I mean, those are some pretty good groups, but I kind of botched it with that last shot. Anyway, five out of five for accuracy, five out of five for recoil. There were no issues there. Uh, next, we have the turrets. Um, these turrets, have a listen. They're very positive, they're very audible. Now I do have another optic, another Vortex optic to compare it with, which is obviously a more expensive Vortex. This is the HST with the very, very tactical turrets. Have a listen to the geese in comparison. They seem, they sound quite audible, quite positive as well. Now the HST, I mean, this feels like 10 times more positive and maybe not quite as audible, but definitely way more positive, which is likely why this one retails for about $200 more. So uh, yeah, there's a difference. There's a big difference. Uh, anyway, for the turrets, let's head outside. Let's test these out. All right, let's start with the box test. Let's go up by 10 and away. And we're back at zero. Let's see if there's any point of impact change with the magnification. All right, let's see how much internal adjustment it has. And that's it. Let's back off magnification just a bit. Okay, in the opposite direction. Now we've reached the maximum, that's why it's moving a bit to the right, so that's that's fairly normal, that'll happen occasionally. Alright, let's see how much windage adjustment it has. And that's it. And that's it. So for their price range, these turrets are rock solid. They're really good. They're really positive, audible. Um, this is really what you should expect, especially with Vortex. These are pretty good turrets. Um, they did the box test just fine. There was no point of impact change with magnification. So this optic has 65 MOAs worth of internal adjustment. What does that mean? That means you can have a 30 MOA rail underneath it in order to maximize uh, how much internal adjustment you can use. So you can use this for really long ranges provided you use like a 30 MOA rail. Nothing more, but you can use a 20 or even a zero, which would limit you to about 32 MOAs worth of adjustment range for compensating for distance and bullet drop. Uh, anyway, so for the turrets, we are going to give them a 5 out of 5. For this price, this is exactly what it should be. Next, we have the reticle, which is the EBR2C, which is their MOA version. They also have a mill version and one with also mill turrets. Now, this reticle is a glass-etched reticle. Um, it actually has tons of holdover points in it. It's, it's, very, it's, it's a really nice reticle. There's one minor complaint, though. It has this little gap in the middle, which is a 0.25 in distance. I mean, have a look at the screen. You guys can see that. This is 0.25 of a gap. Now when I was at the range my bullseye is 0.5 which means that obviously the gap is smaller than my bullseye so it's a little bit harder for me to center my dot in the in the middle of it which I guess in hindsight I should have had a dot that was a quarter M away in order to really um, center it in the middle. Personally I would prefer if they made a half M away uh, gap in the middle over the 0.25. Anyway that's just my personal opinion yours may vary. Anyway, at the highest magnification, the reticle wasn't too fat. It was really nice and sharp and, and fine. I really liked that. And at the lowest, I mean, it, it was fairly small, which is to be expected with first focal plane optics. Uh, we're going to give a 5 out of 5 for the reticle. Next, we have the warranty, which, I mean, I shouldn't have to say much. Vortex has pretty much the best warranty in the business. If ever there's any issues, you just make a ticket with them and you send it on back. Anyway, what do I think about this optic? Well, it is a very good quality optic for its price. 
Um, it has a, all the features that you are going to be looking for to do some long range shooting at a budget level. Um, you have the you have the glass in this optic, you have the amount of internal adjustment, provided you get the right MOA rail. I mean, you're gonna be set to go these long distances. If you're looking to purchase one, have a look in the description below. I'll leave some links there for you. But uh, I mean, the bottom line is, look around, find the best price. Don't pay retail, find them on special. There's always one place that will have them on special. So look around and I'll see you next time on Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. Now don't forget to hit like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos because we do a lot of videos like this one and uh...